Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today we're going to continue uh, some of our beginner series talking about things that hopefully will help you out if you're new to coin collecting. And of course, if you're not new to coin collecting, we always encourage you to watch anyways and leave comments. Uh, lots of times you guys add a lot of value to our new viewers who are trying to learn about coins and coin collecting just with some of your little uh, tips and tricks that you might have. So in this video, what we're going to talk about is how to use the Red Book for learning how to grade. Uh, and so for those of you who are new and don't know what the Red Book is, it's also called uh, a guidebook to United States coins and it gets produced every year annually. The numbers in the guidebook are not exact, you know, it's used just as a guide. But in each section, what you'll find is you'll find a little area where they talk about how to grade the coins. So we're going to click out of here and we're going to go get some close-ups of the video of uh, the book and some coins and we're just going to talk about how you can use this to help you understand how to grade coins if you're new. All right, let's take a look. Okay, friends, so at the beginning of each section in the red book, you'll have a description of the coin, and then you'll have this section here where they talk about the grade of the coin. And what you'll see is you'll see uh, several different grades, good, VG, fine, very fine, extra fine, almost uncirculated, mint state 60, mint state 63. And what it is here is you have a description for each of those sections and it's kind of difficult to know exactly how to grade just from reading these but they're here for a reason and so we're going to look at them and say how can we learn from what they're talking about here so for example we want to see what they're saying so the good says that legends and dates are readable buffalo's horn does not show right and so if you can get a couple a couple coins together to look at and start to see what we're looking at here you may need to you may need to have some type of magnification to help but you'll see that you've got the the date and the legends are all readable. That one's kind of beat up there. And this one's all readable too. You see there's the horn, like in this coin. So if you don't know what the horn is, that's not going to help you a whole lot. But just having an understanding of, of course, they've got the picture down here of the horn, right? You can see it's right there on the guy. So, but on these guys here, the date's just barely readable there, 1923. That's what they actually kind of call it, partial date. It's 1926 over here on this guy with the beauty mark on it. Then it's going to tell you that the horn is worn nearly flat, uh, horn and tail smooth but partially visible, obverse rim intact. Obverse rim intact, so we have a new clue here as to what what they're talking about here at the rim is this edge. And they're talking about that separation from the word liberty into the rim and the word liberty into the rim. Look at how strong that is. So, you know, this is a pretty pretty weak example and a pretty strong example to give you differences but really what we want to get at is when we're looking at these is finding these indicators that they're using um, usually it'll just be one point here so the horn the tail the rim back to the horn back to the cheekbone now we're going back to the horn again and the hair and the ribbon and on each level as this is going up it's showing you more and more or talking more and more about the areas that the coin should or shouldn't be showing. So really what you're doing is you want to use the book to look at the areas on the coin that are or are not showing. So I have a lot of people who just pick up the book and they start looking at stuff and, and just because look at all that detail. So then they think it's a really high grade coin and then you look again you're like well no that's just actually the outline of the coin and sometimes it's not until you get to a nicer coin that you can really see you know kind of what the detail is. Now the nice part is of course for these coins is that they're going to have pictures of nice coins uh, in in the book, right? So you're going to be able to see when they talk about, you know, the horn and the tail and the feathers and the cheekbone, you can see a little bit what they're talking about here on these, right? And so you want to use their verbal cues to try to figure out what grade a coin is. So if we move like to Mercury Dimes as an example, I'm going to go say good we got the letters and date clear, lines in the bands and fasces are obliterated. That is a great term. Fasces is this, this thing here. Uh, all sticks in the fasces are defined. Uh, I'm looking at the fine, I jumped one. Uh, diagonal bands are worn nearly flat. Uh, and then we start getting the diagonal bands defin uh, definitely visible. 
only slight wear on the diagonal bands. So what, what they've done in the red book is they've tried to really simplify things down to one or two key areas to look at, which is not the wrong way to do it, by the way. Yeah, there's a lot more nuance to it, but really if you look, you know, you start to understand they've got these horizontal bands that move, there's three of them, and then there's the diagonal bands that go up and down, right? So how much of that are we seeing versus what they're talking about here? Uh, diagonal bands are definitely visible. So this is like at least a VF20, you can really see those diagonal bands coming down uh, on this coin. And take a look at the obverse here real quick, which they don't really mention on, on this particular listing here. Uh, only slight wear on diagonal bands, braids on hair before ear, clearly visible braids on uh, braids and hair before ear are clearly visible. Okay, well, I don't know. Uh, that's that's looking kind of dicey. There's some hair there, you know, not as not as much, right? So let's grab one here that has a little bit more detail on it, and then you start to see. Okay, well now we've got. Now you can really see the hair, and you can start to see the difference on some of these. This is where you can start to see the uh, the vertical lines on the fasces are really intact on this coin. So only slight wear on the diagonal bands. So this is where you see the diagonal bands, you know, you can really see them. They stand out on top of the other bands, they're not worn into it. So you can start to distinguish. The other thing of course is, you know, not using the red book. If you have a lot of coins, you can kind of start to put them in order of condition when you compare things to one another. But what the red book helps you realize is just how to pick out the highest points on the coin, focus on them a little bit, and then start to work your way backwards as you have to. And that's true for every series in this book. As you go through it, you'll find descriptions of, you know, what are the things we're looking for on each series. You know, gold coins, silver coins, copper coins, all of them. It'll give you the highest points to look at, and some understanding of what to focus on as you try to figure it out yourself. Of course, always, as always, you know, we put lots of videos out for you to look at, but, but the book, sometimes you're alone with a book and your coins, and you should be able to use this book for a guide and help you learn. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can leave your comments down below, and of course, you can always click on the owl button to su subscribe, and uh, if you wanna watch more videos, you can also hit that notification bell that way the videos will show in your feed and show up. And uh, But we have new videos every day, so if you're not seeing that, then maybe you gotta hit that little notification bell. Uh, we also have some membership levels if you wanna click on the Abraham Lincoln icon and check that out. Thanks so much for watching. As always, have a great day.